Boycotts, outdated. <laughs> uh, how do I do? Let me start. I'm in South Africa. Let's do it this way. Uh, in the recent years, less two or three, or three or four years, um, the, college, the universities, the tertiary uh, institutions have been erupting with all this uh, protest and whatever. They've taken the, the toy toy route. The toy toy is just a term to use in the battle days of apartheid, where they wanted to demonstrate. You know, they they sing and dance and you know and, and disrupt and burn down or whatever have you. That's a tactic used against the apartheid system, okay? And now that there is no apartheid system and the government is your own, they're still using that same tactic. Doesn't make any sense. It's outdated. It worked then. Let's go to the United States. There's a thing called boycotts. The first I heard of boycotts, I think it was uh, A. Philip Randolph. One of those cats back then, then, then you know, uh, 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 my man Adam Clayton Powell Jr. picked it up. And, you know, about desegregation. You know, they would boycott a, a store that was in the community that wasn't served, that there wasn't uh, hiring people in the community. And, and they wanted to get people in the community actually well, to be serviced by the store and also to work the store. And the most famous boycott, I guess, would be the Montgomery uh, bus boycott led by um, Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, so, you know, and, and as you may or may not know, that's when they, uh, they boycotted the bus system uh, in, in that city of Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, and that was very successful. Uh, it was losing some, well, that was very successful. It was very successful, actually, because uh, not only did it was a church movement, but not only did the, the, the church get involved, but also it's, it's, it's actually documented that most of Martin Luther King Jr., because he could play pool, you know, he was hanging out. He, he actually recruited, let's, let's call it the down, the, more of the downtrodden, just, not just the church people, but also let's call them the, 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 the saints, you know, well, the saints, the church people, and then the, the so-called sinners or the, the criminals, you know. So he went to the pool halls or whatever, so he recruited the entire community to take part in this Montgomery boycott, okay? So they got it all together. In this day and age, when you want to pull a boycott, like say, for instance, the, the recent one with the whole Black Panther thing, some, some, you know, some bloggers, some, some, some trolls, some, some disgruntled, I guess it was a black woman, it could be anybody, it's the internet, right, said, oh, Michael B. Joyner is hanging out with a white girl, okay, she's Latino, but it doesn't matter, it's hanging out with somebody that's not, doesn't look like me, and therefore I'm going to boycott, you know, Black Panther, you know, uh, yeah, uh, uh-huh, okay, boycotts don't work. You know, it's a worldwide, it's a worldwide release, okay? So if you want to boycott Black Panther in your neighborhood, you can. If, if the black women or whoever in your neighborhood don't want to see black, that's fine. You know, actually it's the wrong thing to pick, but only because I won't get into it. But some of us, like me, who was a cinephile, in other words, we, we like cinema. We don't care. We, you know, we, we look at all cinema. Yeah, uh, King Kong is racist, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, uh, Birth of a Nation, I'm talking about the Birth of a Nation, the DW group, is racist, but he also made intolerance. You know, there's, there's a lot of things going on with this stuff. Okay. Um, uh, but the race, the, the one I just saw was uh, uh, Monique, the comedian, wants to boycott uh, Netflix. No. I must make full disclosure. I don't deal with Netflix. I, I, I just don't. I don't. You know, I got other stuff to do, so I don't. I don't deal with it. So it doesn't affect me at all. I'm, I'm effectively boycotting Netflix, right? Um, but it's stupid. No, I'm sorry. It's not stupid. It's not stupid for her because she's boycotting it because uh, something about her special, whatever they're not, whatever it is. But it's it's for it's for a specific group of people that that can make films and that will be seen in films and get and get. And, and, and I guess, you know, she wants to get paid or whoever wants to get paid or equally or whatever, the, whatever she, why, whatever, what, whatever reason she wants to boycott them. But it's just for a certain cadre of people. It's not for what we call the masses of the people, not all that they're trying it's going to be affected by that. A lot of people like, like me who don't even have Netflix or don't have access to Netflix it won't affect us at all. So if you're going to pull a boycott, you might as well pull it where it affects your entire you know, the, the entire downtrodden community, if you're speaking for the downtrodden, I guess you're not, because you're, you're a celebrity. Okay. But here's another reason why this boycott will never work. Not in this, in this what we call epoch, not, not in this day and age, not in this era. Uh, because simply a multinational situation, like if you're going to boycott, say, Disney, you know, Marvel Disney, then, you know, there's a lot of stuff you ain't going to get. You know, they're going to blah, blah, stuff for your kids. Blah, 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 blah. Let's take the most, let, let me take a, a, a hated, uh, some sort of, and, and, and uh, I say some sort of hated corporation, 
No, not Monsanto. They, they, they Nestle's, the worst, okay? Nestle's, you know, Nestle's, you know, the, 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 the coffee, whatever. They, they got that finger in so many pies. Not only that, but they, they, they'll, damn, they'll, they'll, they'll do some political action, pie based on my own, and that dam that they built, that somebody built, you know, they'll now have rights to that water and then, then put that water in a bottle and sell it to you as some sort of pure Nestle's water. It's terrible, right? But the thing is, Nestle's also, because they know for the chocolates, right? Um, uh, recently, in the last two, two or three years, I read someplace, at least someplace in Africa, you know, Cote d'Ivoire, where, wherever they get the chocolate from, wherever they do the slave labor, where we get the chocolate, you know, the child labor, get the chocolate from Ghana, wherever, wherever it is. They came to the realization, as they should, just like they should do with, with petrol in Nigeria and a bunch of other places, like, hey, why do we, why, why do we use this child, why does the child ever get abused? Uh, to get this cocoa, the cocoa gets sent up to Switzerland, wherever Nestle's is, right? They make the chocolate, sell it back to us. Why can't we make the chocolate here, do it right, whatever it is, and then... The, so my thing is like, wh I wouldn't try to boycott Nestle's. It's not actually like try to boycott Nestle's. Uh, but I would rather put that energy into getting it so do you undo the political situation or the graft or the corruption situation where, 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 where Nestle's is allowed to exploit young children, you know, to get this, to, to get this cocoa and make it so that you now control the cocoa and cote d'Ivoire, where, where, where this cocoa is coming from, you know, um, from, from the west, where, uh, west coast of Africa, you know, you then, you see, then, then you show how it's done. So you don't do a boycott, not in this day and age, you do a something else. You do politically, uh, 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 as well as, as, as mechanic, you know, you, you build the factories or whatever have you, make, you, you make the deal like that, you know? So, but if you're not doing that, then if you're not doing that, then that would affect the entire country, you know, the entire chocolate industry, then we know Africans where the chocolate comes from, they will be getting paid, African nations, you know, it would raise up the entire um, area that that's coming from, and that would also be a, um, a, 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 a guiding point, a, 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 a tactic that we get into the annals of history, just like the, just like boycotts and, and quarantines or whatever, whatever people do, has gotten to the annals of history, but they're passe now, you see? So we should be doing some other things. So, uh, dear Monique, look, love you, I know you got, you got shafted with the whole precious thing, whatever, whatever it was, you know, the, I don't know what to put, whatever the thing was, I understand that, and I can stand you with, I can stand with you with that, but you look, know, Man, you gotta do some more research. Look, all you celebrities, let me put this, you got a little bit of money, you got your little entourage, in your entourage, you need psychologists in your entourage, you need sociologists in your entourage, well, no, no, forget sociologists, anthropologists in your entourage, uh, entourage, historians in your entourage, and then when you speak, you can speak with some authority, with some data, or something like that, okay? So, please. Think about stuff before you put it out on the internet, please. I, sometimes I think about stuff, sometimes I, but I'm just waxing, just uh, just waxing, you know, philosophical. So I don't, well, I do have data, but I, I don't have to present it, present it here, okay? But you do, because you got a big following and all this stuff. And that's just a message from me. T, from the Patterson's taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>